Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sullen and today I'm going to show you how to use the weathermodels.com animator feature to analyze and display uh, various types of weather data. Uh, so from the weathermodels.com homepage, which looks like this if you have the personal forecaster subscription, it'll look a little different for the commercial and industry subscriptions. Um, but either way, uh, depending on what level you have, uh, head on up to the model maps tab and then click the model animator uh, link uh, and you'll get a page that looks a lot like this. Um, so to begin, uh, you can select any of these um, uh, options to start, um, or you can use the menus over here to the left to pick uh, which model, region, uh, smaller region, and parameter you're interested in looking at. So uh, I'll just start here. This is what I usually do. I select the model. Uh, I'll look at the ECMWF uh, for the United States. Um, and say I just want to look at the whole US. Uh, if you want to look at smaller regions, they are, are available here. Um, so for the whole US, and now you'll see all the parameters, including the little thumbnails, um, of uh, which parameters are available for the ECMWF uh, over the United States domain. Um, so I guess we can take a look at uh, 500 hectopascal relative vorticity. It's a commonly used uh, uh, parameter here. Um, and once uh, you click the parameter, assuming that you've made a selection for the model in the region, you'll get the map that you're looking for. Um, and then uh, to uh, look at different forecast hours, uh, you can uh, just mouse across the toolbar here at the top once all the maps load up, um, and you'll see uh, you know, we have this, uh, this upper level low that's digging southeast through the Great Lakes um, up in about a week's time from when I'm making this video. Um, if you want to look at previous runs, um, so this is the Zero Zulu 4th April of 2020 run, but if I, you wanted to go back and compare that to the previous run, uh, you can do that here and then it'll uh, load up. Um, you can uh, select certain frames to load a little bit faster by mousing over them. You can see that uh, this is the time period I'm most interested in, so those loaded first and then once those are all loaded up it'll, it'll load the extended hours that I'm perhaps less interested in. Um, you can also easily uh, switch um, parameters uh, if you wanted to keep the model, the domain, and the run the same. Um, so say instead of uh, 500 hectopascal relative vorticity, I was more interested in 850 hectopascal winds. Um, so this will uh, enable me to load in that new, uh, that new set of data without uh, having to go back through the whole model region um, uh, and cycle selection process. Um, so that's a good trick there. Now if you do uh, decide that you want to look at something completely different, I just press this reset navigation button and you can start from scratch. Um, like this, you know, you can look at North America, for example, um, and access whatever uh, different data that you want. Uh, note that if you start, um, say like we did, we started um, with a specific region. I wanted North America and a specific parameter, 850 hectopascal temperature. Now this will tell you which models that you that offer that uh, combination of region and parameter. So not every model is going to have uh, the forecast for uh, this given parameter um, over the North American domain. So uh, this will streamline the selection process a little bit if you uh, decide that you need 850 hectopascal temperatures over the North American domain. Um, aside from that, um, you can uh, quickly switch over to the um, uh, the other features we have here, such as the comparator, um, just by clicking that little button here. And I have a whole separate video um, showing you how to use the comparator, so we'll head back on over to the animator, um, given that that's what this video is about. On the right hand side, you can find our options to animate. Um, again, I'll have a separate video uh, showing you how to, to put uh, weather data in motion and then save as GIF and, and so on and so forth. But all those controls are found over here to the right of the main uh, display area. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful in uh, exploring the weathermodels.com animator feature um, and uh, we appreciate you using the site to check out uh, our whole uh, wide selection of weather data and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.